Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel, hi I'm a semantic. Today we have a very interesting, I would say like quick and relaxing algebra question, x to the x equal to 8, and we need to find our x, if you have your solution, your answer, you can also write your solution down into the comment section. So a lot of students might be saying, okay, x to the x, let's try to solve this question, for example, by inspection, let's try, for example, x equal to 2, so x equal to 2, when x equal to 2, what we get right here, we have 2 to square equal to 4, so it's not 8, so it's not 8 as right here, so it's not a good root for us. Maybe let's try x is equal to 3. Let's see what will happen. Let's get in closer and closer x equal to 3. So as a result, what do we have? 3 to the power 3 is equal to 3 times 3 times 3 equal to equal to 27. So it's not 8. And a lot of students are confused about this inspection method because they think maybe I can, I can solve it by inspection. But as you can see, our root will be between 2 and 3 because when we have 2, we have 4. When we have 3, we have <coughs> 27 on the right side. So our root is between 2 and 2 and 3. And right now, of course, inspection method is absolutely incorrect at this point. We can't find our root. So right now, let's try to solve this question. Let's try to find a correct approach. How can we solve this question correctly, mathematically and step by step? Okay, so let's split this part and let's start with our with our question. So x to the power x equal to equal to 8. First of all, let's apply nature lock on both sides. Let's do this right now. So as a result, we have nature lock of x to the power x equal to natural log of natural log of 8. Right now we need to know a really great a really great uh, property. This property looks like that. So we have natural log of a to the power b. Of course right here we have base of e but I don't want to write it because this is natural log. Uh, of course this is the base of e. And this b will come down right here. So we can write it as b times natural log natural log a. So this x will come down right here. As a result we have x times natural log x equal to nature log 8. Right now let's try to group our variables on the left side and have a constant on the have a constant on the right side. We already have it. We have variables on the left side and constant on the right side. The next really important step we need to know about lambda w function. This function looks like that. For example, imagine you have expression like, like a times e to the power a, and when you apply lambda w function to this expression, as a result, we have only, only a. So it simplifies a lot. And don't be scared about this a times e to the power a. a is like the, the whatever you want expression, like constant, a long and complicated expression. So for example, we have expression like uh, 8 times e to the power 8, something like that. And we can easily apply lambda w function because we have the same expression right here and right here. And when you apply it real quick, as a result, you can only a, a in our case is 8. So as you can see, it simplifies us a lot. And right now, let's try to look at this at our expression on the left side. And let's try to create that expression, which is which will be like a grade for applying lambda w function, okay? First of all, we need to have e. Okay, let's look closely where do we have e. We don't have e on, on the right side, on the left side, but this nature log x, it's really great, and this x can be expressed in terms of e, okay? In, in this x can be written as, we can write instead of this x, we can write e to the power nature log x, okay? Instead of x, instead of this x, we're going to write e to the power nature log x, which is absolutely the same thing, because we can easily cancel this e in nature log, because we have mm, uh, the property. This is basic property in terms of log, when I have e, nature log e, and this x, we can easily cancel all this stuff, and as a result, we have only only our x. So as a result, what do we have? e to the power nature log x, e to the power nature log x, times this nature log x, don't forget about it, nature log x, equal to nature log, nature log a, Eight. And right now, look closely, what do we have? We have e, it's really great, we have nature log x, we have nature log x, but we prefer e on the second position, yeah, we have right here on the second position, so let's change positions, okay, uh, let's do this, so we have nature log x on the first place, because we have multiplication, so we can easily change it, 2 times 3 equal to 3 times 2, yeah, so nature log x times e to the power nature log x equal to nature log 8. And right now let's look closely what do we have on the left side, we have nature log x, for example, let's call this uh, expression as a, and we have nature log x on, on the power, so let's call this also a because we have the same expression. And as you can see right here, we can easily apply lambda w function to this expression on the left side. So let's do this right now. So we have lambda w function of nature log x times e to the power nature log x equal to lambda w function of nature log 8. Don't be scared about this expression on the right side, this is a constant. So nature log 8 is a constant, lambda w function of a constant is also a constant. So right now, lambda w function of this expression equal to only a, in our case, a equal to nature log x. So as a result, we have nature log x on the left side 
equal to a lambda w function of nature log 8. Right now, let's try to solve it. First of all, we need to find our x. We do need this nature log x, and how can we do this? I'm going to show you a really great approach. How can we do this? We can call it approach as created base of e on both sides. So we're going to write base of e on the left side with this power nature log x equal to base of e on the right side uh, of this power nature log of lambda double function of nature log of 8. Okay, we just create base of e on both sides. It just changed nothing because we do the same tricky move on both sides, not only on the left, on the right, we do on both on both sides. And right now, e to the power nature log x, let's look closely at this point, e to the power nature log x equal to x. So as a result, on the left side, we have only our, our x equal to e to the power lambda w function of nature log nature log 8. Okay, and right now, how can we find our answer? Because if you see it in your, in your exam, this is absolutely enough for you. This is a, a, a correct answer because you don't allow to use a calculator. Okay, 99% uh, you don't allow to use a calculator, and this is absolutely enough for you and and for your teacher because you can't uh, you can't remember you can't learn all cases with this with this uh, Lambert W function. Okay, and I prepared this uh, question for you before. So if you are talking about approximately answers of x, approximately equal to 2.388 2.388 this is our approximately answer to our question so this is equal to approximately to this one don't be scared about this this is e this lambda w function all this stuff is a constant okay so i really hope you understand this extremely important step and if you look closely in the beginning so in the beginning we guessed because we had x to the power x uh, equal to 8 in the beginning this is our question and in the beginning we guess when x equal to 2 we have 2 to the power 2 we have 4 yeah and when x is equal to 3 we have 3 to the power 3 equal to 27 so as you can see in the beginning we just make a, a quick assumption that when we have x is equal to 2 we have we have a 4 and when x is equal to 3 so we have 27 but we need 8 but 8 is between 4 and uh, 27 so it's like a quick tricky move for us just to just to fill fill this answer by inspection just to check it real quick because we have 2.388 so it means that it looks like we solved this question absolutely correct because our answer is between 4 and 27 when when x is equal to 2 we have 4 when x is equal to 3 we have 27 when we are talking about uh, x is equal to 2.388 we have our 8 which is really great because our answer is between between two and three it's also a really great a uh, really great thing so right now we can see a graph you can see this point of intersection which is really great like to see this question from uh, from a geometric perspective so let's write our our answer to this question let's write our answer to this question so x equal to this one e to the power lambda w function of nature log eight and if you are talking about approximately answer students all the students uh, like approximately answer a lot uh, in a lot of cases uh, students like approximately answer or exact value because they feel it better when we have a constant on the uh, as our answer this is they don't like uh, this uh, lambda w function a lot but you need to solve this question like that and after this of course you can get your approximately answer so 2.3 Eight, 8 is a correct answer so it means that 2.388 uh, to the power 2.388 is equal to 8 you can also mm, check this expression on your calculator it's extremely uh, it's great to see your to see your response to see a uh, uh, proof to this to this question but i feel it's everything is okay because i plug in this e to the power lambda w function on mass library and i get this this answer so it looks like everything uh, everything is great so it was my explanation to this challenge i really hope you understand it i really hope you learned something new but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong if you need help with any of these classes i have like more than 300 videos on my youtube channel about all different kind of math olympiad question entrance examination like math exams it's really uh, great uh, and i i really hope you enjoy it i have a lot of a lot of math videos more than three or four hundred i i don't remember exactly how many videos i have but i really hope you enjoyed this content i really hope you you learn something new because i don't know exactly how many percent of students watch my video how many percent of teacher watch my video but i really hope like i help something uh, in my
my channel for for teachers for students maybe teachers uh, take some some notes some some questions from my channel it's really it's really great i really appreciate it when students learn some formulas when students learn some tricky moves i am extremely happy when when i help a little bit for for, for everyone with this with this channel yeah so thank you for your time wish you all the best in your life take care of yourself love math learn math learn formulas uh, try to remember it try to know about basic math about easy stuff if you don't like it uh, if you don't like uh, mathematics try to learn something easy stuff percentages uh, basic questions it's really great to know it because it's it's extremely important thing in terms of uh, in your life yeah when you know a little bit about math if you don't like math at all try to learn a little bit yeah so thank you for your time wish you all the best in your life take care of yourself also write your notes write to respond down into the comment section happy to see you here and have a great day take care of yourself